Buhari's broadcast is not from Asu Rock, brought from the UK studio, Namdekano alleges. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Namdekano, has said that the presidential speech by President Muhammad Buhari was not done in Nigeria, but in a UK studio. The background is a misnomer different from the usual background he uses to address the nation. The background looks like a whiteboard, anyway he has addressed the nation. Kanu asks the handlers of Buhari to stop taking Nigerians for granted. Is this how other countries' presidents address their people? Buhari has never stood up to make a broadcast. He usually sits down. Probably he stood up this time because of the COVID 19's overpowering power. Nigerians have stormed the social media to react to the location where President Muhammad Buhari made this national broadcast from. Some wonder which part of the Asurok has that design. Well, Guys, what are your thoughts and reactions concerning this particular news? It is actually um, important to know what is going on and uh, it is important for the truth to be told and be revealed to Nigerians so they can know the state of things and they can know what is actually going on in the country. Buhari's broadcast, who is not from the Asurok, says Nambekano. Although few presses, some people are actually not concerned about where the location where the broadcast was actually made, what some people are actually uh, okay with is that he finally addressed the nation. You recall that um, uh, Buhari has been dragged on social media for quite some time, especially uh, notably by the Imam of Peace, the popular and famous Imam from Australia. Um, after that he actually broke his silence and came and there were, there were reports that he would address the nation by 7pm also you recall that prior to this particular time Ndamdekano has revealed or uh, alleged that Buhari and, As and uh, Abba Kiari, his chief of staff were flown to or secretly flown to the UK for treatment after you know contracting the COVID-19 disease. Though the presidency came out to debunk the news that the president was not in the country and uh, had left, then photos and pictures emerged online uh, where the president met with um, the director general of the NCDC, the National Center for Disease Control and the uh, Minister of Health, uh, you know, Dr. Osage and all what have you. So it is not clear if actually truly the president is in the country or not. Although um, seasoned journalist Dr. Kemi Olunoyo said that she believes that the president is in Asurok, but the broadcast was not a live broadcast. A lot of people have come out to say that the broadcast was not live and was pre-recorded, which, you know, to an extent has um, demeaned the purpose of the broadcast to a lot of people. At the same time, Namda Kano has come out to say that the broadcast is not from Asurok but from a studio in the UK. Looking at the settings of the um, broadcast, one would see reasons with Namda Kano because all the while that the president has been addressing the nation, the background has never been that type of background. They have never been that type of background. Also, the president does not stand to address the nation, he sits to address the nation, which Nambekano also pointed out. This could be true from the look of things. So why is it that the president has to stand up to address the nation, which is not in his uh, usual roofing or which is not in his usual way? 
he actually you know stood up to address the nation could that be a new style according to Femi Adesino who said that the president's uh, silence over issues and addressing the nation is his own style uh, of governance so do you guys actually agree with Nam Dekanu that the broadcast was not made from Asu Rock? There are reasons to believe in Nam Dekanu from the look of things. But could he be true? Let's not forget that Nam Dekanu, you know, has a knack for actually revealing things. And to some extent, the, it probably could be true. Nam Dekanu is a citizen of the UK. He has lived in the UK for years grown up in the UK, understands the UK, knows the UK, and at least to a very good extent has um, has insiders or has flair or has, um, how do I put it now, he has um, influence in the UK that cannot be disputed in any way. So if he's coming out to speak and to say or to make claims, he might not be 100% correct, but there could be some truth in what he says. Because if you look very well and closely at the broadcast, the background is very, very different from the normal way that uh, the president usually addresses the nation. So definitely something is wrong or something could be wrong somewhere which we do not know. And uh, the handlers of the president are not making it easier for people to actually understand what is going on as they constantly have been hiding things from the public, starting from the health of Mr. President. Start also, the whereabouts of Mr. President is now a hot topic and that of his chief of staff. While some are saying that he, he was cited in the United Kingdom, the chief of staff of the president, Abba Kiari, was cited in the United Kingdom, the UK, at the Wellington Hotel, receiving treatment. Some actually said, according to Nam Dekanu, that he was he was secretly flown to Cuba. So, these are conflicting um, reports which we cannot authoritatively confirm, as there are no evidences, and also the presidency uh, has not made it easier for people to actually know the truth as they are not revealing and they are hiding and keeping things away from the populace. So, be that as it may, there are reasons to believe that the president's address was not from the Asuro. Guys, could that be an issue? Is it really an issue? Does it really matter where he broadcasts from? Does it really matter where he addresses the nation from? Do you have an issue with the broadcast not being a live broadcast but a pre-rocket, a pre Recorded uh, broadcast, because a pre-recorded pre broadcast, you know, definitely means that there must have been mistakes. There might have been uh, some editing on it before it was actually um, broadcasted or aired on on TV. So, do you guys have issues with, or do you think there are issues with the recording? or the broadcast being a live one or a pre-recorded one? Do you think that the recording or the broadcast was from Asu Rock or not? Do you really have an issue with that? Looking or judging by the way other world leaders or presidents of other countries have been addressing their people and uh, you know coming out to answer questions with journalists, and do you have issues or do you think there are issues with the way the president has been handling the nation or addressing the nation? Well... For me, I do have an issue with that because if allegations and claims like this are being made in the public, it is pertinent and important for the president and his handlers to come out to prove that it is either wrong or it is right. Keeping the populace or the citizens in suspense does not really help issues and does not matter. You owe the citizens every bit of explanation the moment you come out to contest for election to seek their votes and they voted and you won the election. You owe most of your life to them. So you need to be accountable as a president. So that is on this basis, I feel that the president needs to come out clean to Nigerians. So guys, do you feel the same way I feel? Do you share my sentiments on 
this issue and the way the president is actually running the country? Well, kindly drop by the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, please do hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post a new story. Thank you so much for your time, guys. I really appreciate your support and I appreciate all you're doing. Thank you for being there and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.